the factory managed to make the mill put out more top end without the usual trade-off of a diminished bottom end. Part of this gain comes from the enlarged, 26mm throttle body and free-flowing exhaust that lets the engine breathe more freely, and it pays off to the tune of 12 horsepower at 8,500 revolutions per minute with 8.7 pound-feet of torque at 5,000 revolutions per minute. The liquid-cooled thumper runs a 52.4 mm bore and 57.9 mm stroke with an 11 to 1 compression ratio for a total displacement of 125 cc, but it's the cylinder construction that is the real item of interest here. A spiny sleeve binds more completely than ever before with the aluminum jug, a feature that helps to stabilize cylinder shape in order to cut down on blow by gases and improve emissions. I haven't seen MSRP as of this writing and I doubt it will come to the US market anyway. The new PCX150 runs $3.7 thousand dollars without ABS and $4 thousand dollars with it, so I guess a little less than that, comparatively speaking considering the currency exchange.